How did Al Gore's movie, An Inconvenient Truth, win him an Academy Award and a Nobel Peace Prize? Well, it seems you can win both awards by lying, misrepresenting nature, exaggerating and corrupting science. In 2007, the British High Court ruled that Al Gore's movie, An Inconvenient Truth, is a political work containing many factual inaccuracies. It can be shown in British schools only accompanied by a warning and a 35-page corrective study guide. Three independent analyses by Marlowe Lewis, Malcolm Roberts and Viscount Moncton of statements in Al Gore's movie and book of the same name reveal 19 wrong or false statements, 17 misleading, 10 exaggerated, 25 one-sided, 28 speculative, 234 images of natural everyday events falsely depicted as unnatural and implied to be caused by global warming. 71 images and instances of unscientific, unfounded mixing of projections with data to fabricate future climate. 59 instances of comments and images out of context or misrepresenting reality. 74 instances of using the crowd effect. 35 major errors on climate alone and zero empirical scientific data supporting the movie's core claim that human carbon dioxide drives global climate. His movie poster misrepresents invisible carbon dioxide as visible pollution and water vapour. In his movie, Al Gore claims that sea levels are rising catastrophically. So, why then is his response to buy a second seaside property to join the property he already owned on San Francisco's waterfront. The Nobel Peace Prize is not decided by scientists, but by politicians amongst Norway's parliament, open to lobbying. Hollywood was harnessed to make emotive propaganda for climate alarmists. Al Gore wanted to be a carbon billionaire trading CO2 credits while owning the Chicago Climate Exchange, profiting from his advocacy to governments, including Australia's. Where's his shame? Who has the biggest carbon footprint of them all? Five mansions, uses private jets. His Nashville mansion uses almost 20 times the energy as average American homes. Al Gore is giving ammunition to people wanting to control us while spreading fear and guilt in gullible minds and hearts. This message is brought to you by the Galileo Movement. For more information or to support this message, go to Galileo Movement.